You know, artificial intelligence has experienced exponential growth and innovation over the past few years. I mean, there's no doubt about it. However, with every advancement, there comes the potential for misuse and unintended consequences. One of the most pressing concerns is the rise of AI-generated inappropriate content that poses serious challenges to our society. Now, what I'm referring to is any content, including text, images, audio, video, produced by AI algorithms that are explicit, offensive, or harmful. These AI models are trained on vast data sets, which often include inappropriate or offensive material, inadvertently enabling the generation of such content. Now, social media platforms, chatbots, and content creation tools have adopted AI to personalize user experiences and boost engagement, and that's all good. But this integration has also opened the door through malicious actors to exploit AI algorithms to generate harmful or inappropriate content, leading to a host of ethical and legal challenges. BBC has recently uncovered a disturbing trend of AI technology being used to create and sell lifelike explicit content. Now, these individuals are accessing the images by paying for subscriptions on mainstream content, sharing platforms like Patreon. You know, Patreon from YouTube. The software being used is Stable Diffusion, AI tool that was intended for art and graphic design. Now, these images created by AI include graphic depiction of children that would make any parent sick to their stomach. These air-generated abusive images are being shared through three-stage processes. Creators make images using open-source AI software. They promote these pictures on platforms like Pixiv, which is a Japanese social media site that has absolutely no laws to govern this sort of content. And they then provide links to more explicit images that people can pay to view on sites like Patreon for as little as $4. Now, if there is one thing that holds true for us humans, is that there will always be a certain portion of society, unfortunately, that will seek to exploit others. And I know this may sound terribly pessimistic, but unfortunately, it's also true. And for these tech companies to have created this technology and not thought about this potential for misuse and put in place safeguards against it is quite frankly unforgivable. And I mean, the technology is there. Our Famisafe app has an explicit content detection filter that will stop inappropriate content from getting through on our kids' phones. So if we can do it, then why can't others? And you know, I like AI, the idea of AI. And the sad thing is that AI technology has immense potential for positive applications, but there are serious concerns about its potential misuse, particularly in generating harmful and exploitative content. The National Police Chiefs Council and the NSPCC in the UK are urging 10 companies to take stronger actions to prevent the spread of this kind of material. And the UK government is looking to introduce regulations in the online safety bill to tackle online child abuse and impose significant fines on companies that fail to address it. But maybe AI could be the savior here rather than the villain. AI algorithms can play a pivotal role in content moderation by automation, automating the screening and the filtering process. As I said, these algorithms are trained on vast data sets, which can include malicious content, but they can also be taught to recognize patterns and characteristics that are commonly associated with inappropriate content. Companies could and should be training them on data sets that adhere to strict ethical guidelines, as opposed to just scraping the internet for all data, allowing, allowing access to all sorts of content. If developers ensure the AI models learn from appropriate and safe data, then this can actually minimize the risk of generating harmful content. 
Likewise, traditional content moderation systems often rely on user reports to identify inappropriate content, leading to delays in addressing harmful material. If you've ever reported something on Facebook or YouTube, then you know that most of the time it takes a while for them to take action on that report. But by employing AI-powered content screening, platforms can actually proactively detect and remove such content in real time. Now, this approach reduces response times and helps prevent the widespread dissemination of these sort of harmful contents and materials before it reaches the broader audience. And while AI algorithms excel at processing large volumes of data, they can lack in nuanced understanding and contextual sensitivity that humans possess. Now, to address this limitation, a collaborative approach is essential. Human moderation teams can work in tandem with AI algorithms to review flagged content. You know, content moderation is an evolving process with new forms of inappropriate content emerging over time. By establishing iterative learning and feedback loops, human moderators can provide valuable insights to AI systems, enabling them to continuously improve and adapt to all of the emerging trends. The iterative learning ensures that the AI content moderation process remains up to date and remains effective. And this is important. Of course, I'm just a parent, you know, just like you. I'm concerned about the rise of this kind of content generation, but I can only watch passively while all of this kind of unfolds around me. The actual power is in the hands of tech companies and the government. If they collaborate on this and get ahead, instead of just always playing catch up, then there is some hope for us yet. What do you think? What is your opinion on AI in general? Leave us a comment below. Leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this topic and on AI in general. I mean, don't take me wrong. I like AI. I like the idea of AI, but there are some concerns. And if you want to try and protect your children from harmful content on their devices, then head over to FamiSafe website to take a look at our explicit content detection feature. I'll drop a link below into the description so you can have a look. And that's it for today. Until next time, stay safe with FamiSafe.